What's up everyone? My name is Steve Echo and I'm from Montreal, Canada. And I'm Joe Sando from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to our Revealed Masterclass. But this is the plugin that I use. It's called the DS10 Drum Shaper and it's from XLN Audio. Uh, basically, you have full control over molding the kick exactly how you want it to to fit into your mix. So you obviously, as you can see here, have the attack, the sustain, and the tightness. And then there are three different selections you have here between classic, natural, and smooth. And these just kind of give you different feels for the kick. So as you can tell, just as I moved down from one instrument to the next, that the sound was kind of moving its way up the spectrum. One of the main things that I think really helps make this bass line great is the use of the pitch bends. So without it, I feel that the bass line would just kind of be a very linear and stagnant progression. Whereas with this, it adds a different dynamic and a new element of a slide from one note to the next within our MIDI here. We have our short fills and we have our snares that are playing here and I'll play it at the buildup region. We have our endless smile that's happening here. So I'll play it here and you can see the intensity knob will move along. So what we did was we automated it to kind of get more intense as the build was happening. And then we automated it back down to get out of the way right before the drop comes in. So this is extremely good for adding tension in your builds. Definitely recommend that. Uh, this is actually a data life plugin. It's super good. And then also what we have here is our fab filter Simplon. And what that's doing is it's messing with the uh, filter two, which is removing the low end of the track. Also, it's kind of manipulating the peak as well of this particular uh, frequency band. So the reason why you do this is because you want to kind of remove the low end in the buildup so that your drop feels and hits harder than it actually is. And this just creates more energy because the drop is supposed to be the release of the track. And I will play the build again, just kind of showing you how the low end is being removed. For the last segment of this masterclass, we're going to talk about the mix and master. So before we get into the master, we just want to let you guys know that for all you producers who are having some issues with mastering, uh, things aren't sounding clean, they're sounding distorted. Reason being is you're, you're probably not having everything mixed at the right levels. So what we like to do 
is we like once we finish the whole outline of the track, get the vocals in, and we get it to a point where we're very comfortable with starting the master and completing the track, we export all our stems at negative six dB. So to give it that headroom, so that when you do the master, things aren't clipping right away, and you can adjust your volumes. Some like to adjust the volume of the track, some like to do game automation, it's really up to you.